Hello and welcome everyone back to the Powder Toy. There has been a slight disaster of my own making. While trying to put my mod onto GitHub and getting you guys the download on stream, somehow I accidentally deleted it permanently. That's right, when I was making a backup, I destroyed it. <laughs> so I have to start from scratch. Thankfully, I'm... I'm fast enough at programming that I should- within like a week I should be able to get back to where I was, but it is very sad. Very sad. I- I- I re-added Thorium. <laughs> so that's all we have now. Good old Thorium. It, it works almost exactly like it did before, so I guess what we'll do today is just find ways to use Thorium to screw things up. <laughs> I- <laughs> I cannot believe I have done this. Hours and hours and hours of work I have just literally thrown away. But you know, that's that's life. That's how it goes, right? Oh, here we go. This is a nice one. Okay, so how do I turn this bad boy on? I've used this before, right? I, I have to do red to turn it on, right? Ooh, okay, yeah, all right. So that'll, uh, I'll go ahead and turn that bad boy on. I'll get the deuterium doing its thing. And, uh, blue does, dumps it, coolant. I'm not really sure what blue does. Does blue do? Yeah, okay. So that's gonna let the, uh, water through. And that's basically it. This is manual though, which is a little bit lame because you know we we like automated systems that are super fancy that I can't actually make myself, so I should shut up. <laughs> but let's go ahead and add some thorium into the mix. I'm sure that nothing could go wrong. Oh, oh, it just falls into nothingness land. Don't worry, guys. I know a very realistic. Oh, ambient air temperature. Oh. Oh. That is really neat that they added that. Okay. I'm using an even newer beta version now, so that's that's pretty cool. Um, so one moment. Um <laughs> That's that's cool. I'm going to turn off gravity because that is the simplest way for me to Why is it still falling? I turned off gravity, darn it. Oh, there's negative pressure there. Oh, turning off gravity has caused a lot of issues. All right, I guess I guess I'll have to come up with a more creative way to uh, to deal with this. Here's the thing. I, I'm going to have to make my own. If I want to cause damage, then why don't I just cause frickin' damage? It's It's fine. It's fine. Here, let's go ahead and get our bunker city. <laughs> The funny thing is, Thorium, like, I designed it to be something that would be super useful for, like, reactors and really hard to melt down. Um, so making a weapon with it is kind of counterproductive, uh, but I'm sure it can still be done. I have an idea. So the idea is that we need the Thorium to get bombarded. Ah, this is gonna be rough. Okay, so first off, we're going to create a ton of pressure in here. Pressure doesn't affect thorium in any way, uh, but it will cause it to, like, fly out, which is exactly what we want. I want my pressure display so I can be sure this isn't leaking, which it doesn't appear to be leaking, I don't think. All right, so that's a pretty high, pretty high and stable pressure we got in there. Now if we go back to fancy display, and I'm going to put ceramic here because I want the, uh, I want pressure to actually be able to go through this, and this actually gets stronger with pressure, so that's good. Now we're going to fill this shell with thorium, the risk strategy here, because now uh, neutrons can actually pass through ceramic. So if I'm correct, I should be able to just get some clone. Like so. And put some neutrons. Is that it's neutron clone? And boom! 
the thorium should be heating up and transferring its heat. And um, at some point, it should go kablooey. This, this is a thorium bomb. Yep. Um, because of the super high pressure, it should just eject extremely hot material. Now the thing is, thorium heats up, but it's quite slow. And I'm not sure if we're really going to be able to get a good explosion action out of this. Um, I think it's just going to melt and kind of fall. But we'll see what happens. We're, we're, we're getting close to the melting point. Oh! Well, I guess it it kind of it kind of did explode. Oh, well, I I guess the people in that building probably feel like it was a pretty good explosion, <laughs> considering it's melted their faces off. But uh, when it comes to it, that wasn't actually very impressive. The amount of damage is rather localized, and honestly, I, I can do far better. So let's go ahead and come up with a better system. <sighs> All right. I'm, I'm coming up with a better system in my head. This is actually going to get kind of complicated. Uh, I'm gonna create a new simulation for this, actually, um, because uh, it's gonna be fun. Okay, so let's, we're actually gonna go big ol' view here so that I can see what I'm doing. So like last time, we're going to have the titanium to hold the pressure in, but then we're gonna have a layer of insulation to keep heat in. You may be going, huh, this is really weird. Uh, it kind of is, but you're gonna have to trust me on this one. So now that we have that layer of insulation, some of you may be able to guess why that's there. Um, good, good job if you are actually guessing why it's there. And if you're correct, there's no way for you to know if you're correct, but you might be. All right. So that'll hold that there. Now we need, oh shoot, uh, okay. Okay, ready? So we are going to do a thin layer of thorium because having it thicker, since the neutrons have to hit it, it doesn't really have to be thick. It could honestly be thinner than this. Doesn't really matter. Um, and then we're going to have to do something that has a high melting point, but neutrons can still pass through. High melting point, but neutrons can still pass through. I feel like if we use ceramic, this should be fine. <laughs> um, I don't know. That may have been a dumb choice. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to get the... Uh, we're gonna get the clow. Oh, you know what? Actually, if we did do it with a really high life value... Hmm... Perm... Okay, I've got an idea here. So let's do do it with a really high life value, just for that dramatic effect. We'll go to simple display so that I can see what's going on. Yeah, nothing display. Okay, so now that we have this, this'll be our neutron breeder. But I actually want to make this more complicated than my other bombs. I'm going to make it kind of electronic. I know, I'm getting fancy now. So we're gonna put this piece here, and we're gonna use Powered Clone, and we're gonna use Powered Clone set to do neutrons. Fantastic. And then I think it's P silicon which activates. Um, it doesn't really matter too much because at the end of the day, it's going to be exploding anyways. And this is going to have a twofold function. So, first off, that will ignite with neutrons and set the thing off. But we also want to burn away the insulation layer uh, once it gets hot enough. So, I'm going to... Actually, the explosion from that may just destroy the insulation layer on its own. Um, now that I think of it, that may be fine. So let's go ahead and see what happens if I spark this. Oh! Wow, did you see? I think it actually... Uh... Wow. Okay. Um... I think that worked. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and open up the... <laughs> huh. <laughs> let's go ahead and open up Bunker City, plop this bad boy down, 
See what happens if I give it a little bit of a sparkle, go frame by frame. So we can see immediately that charge going in, going around the side. We have the neutron blast and it's going big boom. Big boom. And it looks like the material that's been ejected is doing damage, but not that much actually. Not that much. I'm a little bit disappointed. I mean, this is damaging, but geez, I, I expected more. Hmm. I think one of the big issues is that the insulation layer here is preventing it uh, from being more violent. So let's try to swap that. I thought holding in the heat might be a good thing, but maybe not. Okay, let's go ahead and try this. Okay, that seems a little bit more violent. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, that was more violent. And the neutrons just keep coming down and heating up the uh, thorium after the blast as well, which kind of adds insult to injury. Uh, the buildings are melting. It is effective. Is it? Is it Nihonium level? No, but I have to reprogram Nihonium into the game, so... That's sad. Um, but as you can see... This all looks... This looks pretty good. That was quite a bit of damage we did there. Um, I wish there was just a way to get the... Maybe the Thorium should be a little bit more... Uh, maybe it should heat up a little bit faster. To make it a little bit I mean it it's hard because you want to make it like fun but you also want to make it usable and like if I make it get too too hot too easily then it'll be impossible to make reactors with it but like at the same time it's not super effective well maybe that's kind of the point maybe the point is that it's hard to mess up with thorium that that's why it's safe. Safe and happy. Hmm. Interestingly, we could go all the way back to uh, my very, very uh, infinite power loop, which should be, uh, I guess I can search user spike viper. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, the mini plasma reactor. I felt like I made a nuclear reactor, which was Oh, the Ultra Dam actually could uh, be used in this way. I didn't even think about that. Um, hmm. One moment, I've got an idea. So this is the Duke clone. Okay, so what if I just let that fizzle itself out. And uh, I've got an idea. We're gonna put thorium in here. I'm gonna make the ultra damn thorium powered. <laughs> because I can. All right, there we go. And then all we have to do is... Uh... Mmm, very nice. Thorium powered Ultra Dam. Nothing could. This isn't like the newer version of the Ultra Dam. This is the older one, but it doesn't really matter. I mean, come on, guys. <laughs> this is going to melt down. We already know what's going to happen here. It doesn't have to be realistic. <laughs> uh... <laughs> oh. It looks like the, uh, the water in the actual back part of the dam is starting to turn to steam. Just like before though, it, it really is challenging to get this to melt down because it melts everything and has it float to the top before the uh, thorium. So yeah, there we go, we melted it down, good. <laughs> I, I need to come up with a system where we can actually get that heat higher. Um, and I think I have an idea for that. So if we just went ahead and uh, 
Oh, okay, that was that was pretty awful. Let me let me redo that. Okay, so just a circle. And then we get fans. Here's the idea. Kinda like the the artificial lung I made earlier. Rip lung. I need to reprogram that as well. <laughs> so much to do! Okay, but now if I put thorium in here, it should fly around a bit. Unless it's too heavy for that. Nope, there we go. Oh, come on. Okay, it's heavy, but if I turn off gravity, we can just have it be in space. There we go. Oh, there we go. Fantastic. So this is going to mix it around. And now that we have the thorium being mixed around, I don't have to worry about it just conglomerating and preventing itself from melting down. So that's fantastic. And now just in the center, we have clone. This actually allows it all to get hit pretty evenly. Then we have clone, which we set to neutrons, and boom! A mixy reactor. Fantastic. Hmm, that gets very hot very fast. See, I knew I could come up with a way to get it to heat up. Alright, and now what if I filled that with water and put a uh, gas only on the top here? Okay, that's a little bit of a mess. Hmm. Okay, yeah. A little bit of a mess. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Very nice. Okay, this may be a good concept for another time. The, 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 the thorium mixer reactor. Yeah, we'll do it next time. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. I'm going to remake that mod, but you should support me while I'm doing that because it's, it's pain and suffering. Peace out. I cannot believe I accidentally deleted that mod. That sucks. But if you want to support me in recreating it, please like, subscribe, and maybe even support me on Patreon. Well, I, I, I kind of know you won't do the last one, but the first two are very doable. Oh, and comment too. I'll see you all next time. Peace. <laughs>